I'm going to show you how to come up with a prime factorization of a number. We're going to show you that actually in the next slide. We're going to use a factor tree to do it. But first, let's um, learn some vocabulary words. A factor. What is a factor? It's a number that divides evenly into another number. So if I take the number 12, I can divide 12 by 3 and get 4, which means that 3 and 4 are factors. Those two numbers go into 12 evenly. There are lots of factors of 12. 1 goes in evenly, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Those are all factors of 12. Therefore, the number is composite because it has more than two factors. It has six factors. Prime numbers only, only, are divisible by themselves in 1. So if I took the number 7, I could divide that by 7, it goes 1 time or I could divide it by 1 and go 7 times. Those are my only options. I don't have any other numbers. There are no more factors. It only has the factors 1 and it, and the number and itself. 1, excuse me, the number itself and 1. That means that this prime. 1, however, is not prime. All right, let's practice making some um, factorizations. Now, I'm going to use a factor tree. And a factor tree looks like this. You say, what are two numbers that when we multiply them together, we get 24. Well, let's see. It's an even number, so 2 comes to mind. 2 and 12. 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. 12 can be broken down into 2 times 6, again, because 12 is even. And 6 is 2 times 3, both prime numbers. So the prime factorization for 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And we write them in order, starting with the smallest number first. All the twos go together, all the threes, etc. Uh, I could have, however, said, well, wait a minute. I could do this a different way. What if I picked 8 times 3? Pick the bigger number first this time. 3 is prime. 8 can be broken down to 4 times 2. 2 is prime. And 4 is 2 times 2, which are both prime. Let's see. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and I get the same thing. What if I said 6 times 4? I actually like doing 6 times 4. I like aiming for the middle, because then I don't have anybody up here that gets lost and forgotten and, and overlooked. Um, but sometimes circling will help you not overlook anybody. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And if you wanted to check this, and I suggest that you do, you multiply these prime numbers back. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. And it is the number, so that works. All right, let's try 36. Again, not my favorite way of doing it, but let's start with 2 and 18. Circle the 2 so we don't get forgotten. Even, 2 times 9, 2 is prime, and 3 times 3, both prime. So here we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And 36, we could say that's equal to 3 times 12. 3 is prime. 12 is equal to um, 3 times 4, or 2 times 6. Either way, circle your primes. Do we get the same thing? 2 times 2 times 3 times 3? Yes, we do. How about if we went 4 times 9? Two, two, three, three, and thirty-six. Uh, let's see. How about six times six? Oops. Yep. Yeah, two times three, and two times three. We get the same thing. Uh, put my twos together. All right. What if your instructor said he wanted you to, or she wanted you to write this in exponential notation? Then you would write. 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. And let's just check to make sure that this comes out to 36. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 9 is 36. Or manipulate the numbers in any way you would like to. Let me just go back and put this one in scientific notation. I forgot. Not scientific. Exponential notation, sorry. Um, so this is going to be 2 to the third power times 3. All right, 
what if I told you to write the prime factorization of the number, let's see, 41? It's not even. It doesn't end in a 5. It doesn't end in a 0. If I added up 4 and 1, I would get 5, so 3 doesn't go in. And if I tried some of the other numbers, like 7, no, 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 6 is 42, so it's not going to be 7. So then what we would say is the number is prime. Okay, it only has the numbers uh, 1 and 41 as its factors, and 1 is not prime. So if we want the prime factorization, we can't come up with it because the number is prime. Check out the next video on prime factorization practice and see how you do. This workforce product was funded by a grant awarded by the United States Department of Labor's Employment and Training Administration. The product was created by the grantee and does not necessarily reflect the official position of the U.S. Department of Labor. The Department of Labor makes no guarantees, warranties, or assurances of any kind, express or implied, with respect to such information including any information on link sites and including but not limited to accuracy of the information or its completeness, timeliness, usefulness, adequacy, continued availability, or ownership.